Hello everyone, Hayatunde here. Today, we are diving into an exciting way to supercharge your Excel skills using something called ChatGBT. If you haven't come across it yet, ChatGBT is a cutting edge AI developed by OpenAI. It's designed to understand and generate human-like text, making it an incredible tool for a variety of tasks. Specifically, we will explore how ChatGPT can assist you with Microsoft Excel. This AI can automate tasks, generate complex formulas, and provide insights into your data that you might not have considered before. The potential it has to transform your Excel experience is enormous. So whether you're tackling spreadsheet for work, school, or personal project, ChatGBT can make your life easier and your work more efficient. So stick around as we delve into practical examples and tips on how this AI can 10 times your Excel capability. Before we get started, you will need access to ChatGBT and you can get there by clicking on the link right above or also down below in the description. You need to set up an account, and once you do that, you will land on this page. Here, I am in Excel, and we are going to start out with a very simple example, and then we'll get a bit more complex as we go along. Here, we have all the different markets of the ABC company with its associated revenue, and I want to calculate the total revenue, but I'm not quite sure what function to use. In Excel, there's a button right up here that I can click on to insert a function. And here it says to type in a brief description of what I want to do. Well, I want to add up all the values in cell B2 through B10. Let's click on go. And here I don't get anything back. Let's jump over to ChatGBT to see if it does anything better. Here on ChatGBT, down below here, I can type in my question, which says, write an Excel formula to add up values in cell B2 through B10. Then click on go. And here it tells me to use this sum function. Let me copy this and take it back to my Excel. I'm back now in Excel. I'll paste the function here. And just like that, I get the sum of all the revenue. That's the exact function that I wanted. Microsoft should maybe look into incorporating some ChatGPT functionality into its insert function helper. Back now within ChatGPT, one of the neat things about using this is you can have a conversation with the AI. So here I see the sum function, but maybe I want to understand better. Well, I mean, how does this formula work? What is the colon here? What is all of this about? So I'm going to ask ChatGPT all of this question. And to do that, here I'll type in, can you please explain how this function works? And just like that, I get a very thorough explanation of how the sum function works. And here, I even see an example where I could sum up two separate ranges. This is really helpful. Back in my workbook on this sheet, I want to calculate the profit. And the profit is the revenue minus the cost. But let's say I didn't know that. Let's see if ChatGBT can maybe help me with that. Back in ChatGBT, down below here, I will type in my question. Write an Excel formula to calculate the profit. The revenue is in cell A2 and the cost is in cell B2. And here I will click go. And here it looks like it tells me the formula is A2 minus B2. So I can copy that formula and look through to read the rest of the response. Back in Excel, I'll paste in the formula and check that out. I now have the profit for the ABC company. 
So far, we've just looked at some very simple examples, but you might be wondering, well, how can AI handle some more complex scenarios? For that, let's jump into the next worksheet titled VLOOKUP and INDEX MATCH. On this next sheet, I want to know the price of sugar cookies. Over here, I have a table with all of the cookie types and the associated price. So here on this side, if I look for sugar, I should be able to find it and the price should be 3. To look this up, we would typically use lookup functions. You could use VLOOKUP, you could use XLOOKUP or even a combination of functions called index match. Let's see if ChatGPT can have this one figured out. Back on the website, at the bottom here, I will type in my question. Write an Excel formula to find sugar cookie in a table and return the price. Let's see what it does. And right here, I get a response back that tells me how the VLOOKUP function works. I can use this vertical lookup function to get the price back for sugar cookie. Here, it gives me all the information I need to know about how it works. It even provides me with the specific function that I need to enter into my Excel sheet. So right here, I'll just copy the code and let's take this back to Excel. I will paste in the function here and just like that, it did a proper selection of the entire table. I will just press enter and this returns the actual price of sugar cookie, which is three. This worked exactly how I wanted it to. And back on the website, it tells me that I can use a combination of functions, index together with match. And here it even shows me the formula, the exact formula to use using my example and how that would work. This is really helpful. Back in Excel, on the left and find sheets, let's try another example. Here, on this side, I want to extract the first name from the email address. Now, I could use something called flash fill. Here, I could type in the first name. I will go back and select the cell. You can go up to the data tab. And then right over here, there's an option called flash fill. You could also press the shortcut key, control E. When I click on that, it will copy the pattern all the way down. But I might need to know what is the formula or the function that I can use to accomplish this same exact thing. Let's jump back to the chat GPT website. Back here on the website, I will type in my question. Write an Excel formula to extract all the text before the heart character in cell A2. And look at that. Here, I get this set of functions. I can use the left function in combination with the find function. So I will copy this and take it back to my Excel workbook. Back in Excel, I will highlight cells B2 through to B5. And right up here, I will paste the function that ChatGPT recommended. I can now press Control together with Enter, and that will paste this same function into all of the different cells. And I will get the exact same result you're probably starting to realize that this AI is pretty smart and powerful, but we are only getting started. Let's click into the next sheet called Unique Count. And this has always been something that's been a little bit of a challenge in Excel. On this cell here, I want to get a unique count of all the cookie types that are available at the ABC company. Now, you see that there are some duplicate entries. Here I have chocolate chip, chocolate chip again, and here is another chocolate chip. I just want to know the number of unique cookies that are available. So for that, let's jump back to the website. And here I will type in my question, write an Excel formula to count the number of unique values in a list. 
and I get an explanation along with a sample function of how I can make this work. I will copy this and let's go back to Excel. Back in Excel, here I will paste in the function and I have to make some minor tweaks. So the suggested formula is looking at the entire range, but I don't want it to have the header included. So here I will make a minor tweak. I will change this from A1 to A2 and also change this to A10 and press enter. And here it tells me that there are seven unique values. So we have chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin. This is a duplicate value. Then here, these are unique values. And here is another duplicate. We do in fact have seven different unique values. So that worked exactly how I expected it to. Okay, okay, so ChatGPT can help with entering in different functions. But what about the really complicated stuff like writing a macro from scratch? For that, let's click on this sheet titled Macro. Here on the macro sheet, I want to write a simple invoicing app. On this column, I have email addresses of customers and how much they owe the company on this other column. I would like to send them all an email of the amount due. To be able to do that, we need to have macros enabled. So let's go up to the ribbon. You can right click here and then select customize ribbon. Over on the right hand side, let's make sure to check the developer's checkbox, then click OK. And right here, there's a new tab for developer. Let's click on that. Over on the far left hand side, let's click into Visual Basic. Then let's go up to insert and here I will insert a new module. Here on ChatGPT, I will type in my command, write an Excel macro to send emails, use the following subject, ABC company invoice. Use the following text, you hold the ABC company X. Take the value X from column A. If I jump back quickly into my Excel sheet, here we see that the amount is in column A. Going back to chat GBT, send to the email address listed in column B. So let's go back to Excel to confirm if the email addresses are actually in column B. There you have it, they're in column B. Now, let's see what ChatGBT is able to pull together. Right here, I will click on send. It's generated an Excel macro that will send out emails using my subject and all of the body information. This will use both Excel and Outlook. Right here, I can click on copy code. And down here, I can see an explanation of how this macro works. And there's also a note telling me that I need to have Outlook object library enabled. So I'll make sure I do that. Let's go back into Excel. Back within Excel's Visual Basic Editor, but first, we need to click on Tools, then References. And here, I can confirm that the Microsoft Outlook Object Library is enabled, and then I'll click on OK. Next, I will paste in all of the code from ChatGPT. Now, I will have to look through the code to see if there's any issue with it. But everything look just like I want it to be. If you're interested in understanding how macro works or even write your own macros, you will want to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell because I'm going to be dropping a video on that very soon where I will walk you through a full tutorial of how you can create your own macros in Excel. So back to the code, everything looks good here. So I will just click on save up above then let's click on X to close this out. Back now in Excel, on the Developers tab, over on the left-hand side, let's click on Macros, and here we see the new macro, Send Emails, and I'm already to run it. So I'll click on Run. Let's go to Outlook to confirm that. And look at this. Here is the email message 
with my custom subject and also the custom body. That is so phenomenal. I don't know about you, but Excel doesn't really seem that intimidating anymore. If you have to write nested functions or if you have to write a macro, it's no problem. You could have AI get started and maybe you just have to go in and make a few refinements. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.